Yeah, 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 they hate, but they, they broke them. And when it's time to pop, they have no shit. Yeah, I'm pretty, but I'm local. Yeah, I'm local. The loud got me moving so much. Hey, yo, Tweety, what up? Hey, yo, Keys, what up? That other nigga. So that's impressive how much I'm messing with my feelings and my heart. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl TJ. It's your girl TJ. I'm super excited for today's video because it is a braided wig, a pre braided wig. This is by Outre Outre, okay? It's a 4x4 lace front wig. I did get her in the color one. As you guys can see, it does say it's like a HD lace, but we're just gonna hop right into the video because, like, I'm super excited to see what it is about. All right, guys, so this is what the unit looks like straight out of the packaging, as you guys can see. Um, we're going to go ahead and rip this hair knot right on off so we can actually see what she is given. I love the length, okay? The length and the way that the braids are constructed, they are nice and neat. Not one braid is bigger than the other. Everything is symmetrical. I love it, okay? It is bomb. So this is the inside of the wig. This is the full construction. It comes with three combs in total, two on the side, one at the nape, and it does give us an elastic band. All right, so this is the back of the unit. The back of the unit is not laced at all. So I wanted to show you guys what it is giving before you decide to purchase it. So I'm putting it on for the first time. Y'all excuse my busted braids, okay? If you see a lump in the back of my head, it's because the way my, my braid is sitting in the back. So <laughs> I apologize in advance, but this is what she's giving, okay? As you guys can see, the lace um, is transparent, but it has a tint to it. So, or white cast or shadow. So we definitely gonna have to go in and tint that. But this is what the back of the wig looks like on my head, okay? It is not bad at all, okay? I'm not mad at it. I'm not mad. So anyway, this is the hairline. Like I said, you just get, it's like a little closure. You got a closure part with edges, okay? That's what it's giving. It's not full lace all the way around, just in the center. All right, guys, so first we're gonna go ahead and tint the lace. Like I said before, it is a, an HD lace, but it has like a white cast to it. So I'm just using my Ebon Lace Tint Spray to blend it in with my forehead. And then I'm just gonna seal it in with some hairspray. So boom, we about to put her back on so you can see the difference between the last two clips. And she looks 10 times better. I'm not gonna lie, she looks good, okay? But what I don't like is like the parts, they just look non-existent. So we're gonna work on it and we're gonna fix it and I'm gonna show you guys how I do that. But first, I'm just gonna go ahead and cut the excess lace off. I am switching back and forth between a pair of scissors and eyebrow razor, and an eyebrow razor. I cannot talk, an eyebrow razor, okay? So this is what it looks like. Um, what am I saying? Oh, this is what it looks like once the excess lace is cut off. And we're just about to go ahead and secure it all the way down. Now, let me tell you guys a little tea. Okay, so when I put the elastic back, elastic band on for the first time, um, I couldn't get my, it wasn't pulled down on my forehead. Okay, so that means like the wig is snug. It's, it's constructed very small. <laughs> So I ended up cutting out the elastic band so it could fit properly around my head. So if you have a small head, keep the elastic band, elastic band on. If your head is just a little bit bigger like mine, just cut it out and it will fit on perfectly like it's supposed to. So like, that's why I'm starting from the sides of my head um, because I kind of thought that um, being as though the wig was a little bit small, I wouldn't need to secure down the middle section, but that wasn't the case because since the middle was starting to move. So you'll see me in a few minutes, go back to the middle section and then secure everything around all the way around. So, um, yeah, so I'm just using that spray that I always use my Evan Supreme lace bonding spray. If you guys are new, this spray is not at all anyway. Uh, glue it's just ha strong hairspray and it can be removed with water so also I want to note that my dryer is on a cool heating setting okay
All right, so now I'm just taking my elastic band and we're gonna go ahead and melt. I'm just gonna be 100% transparent with you guys right now, okay? Okay. So when you put your head down, y'all, I, I just was like, what in the world is that? That does not look pleasing at all. It doesn't look decent, but who's still gonna wear the wig? I am. And I still wore the wig. So I just wanted to be honest, y'all. If y'all bend your head down, it looks a little weird, okay? <laughs> So anyway, like I said, the part got lost when I put the tint spray on. So now I'm just going in with the concealer just to define the part. And the concealer is lighter than the Ebon spray that I sprayed on just so you can see the part. Because we don't want it looking how it was looking before. It was giving scary vibes. It was scaring me, okay? I'm just going to go in and pull out some baby hairs and we're about to go in and finesse it. One thing I love that they gave us baby hairs. I could not, I would have cried with no baby hairs. Okay. Um, not that it would have been bad. I feel like if you don't like baby hairs, you probably could just cut them off, but I don't, don't listen to me. Cause I don't know how that's going to look, <laughs> but I love that they didn't give us like a bulk of hair to work with. Um, when, regarding the baby hairs, it's just very light. And that's the vibe I was going for when it came down to these braids. I wanted it light. Um, I didn't want that hard, stuck down look. Okay. I just wanted it light and fluffy and flowy. That is the vibe I was going for. So I was super pleased with that. Um, like I said, the baby hairs were already curled, which was another plus in my book. I didn't have to whip out uh, my flat iron. Or, you know, I really don't use my flat iron to do baby hairs on a synthetic unit. I never tried it. So... Yeah, but the <laughs> baby hairs were already curled, so it was 10 times easier for me to swoop. And I'm using my Got To Be Glue Gel to get this done. But like I said, I'm not using a lot at all. I'm just going to give you guys the pros and cons, in my opinion, about this wig. So, like I said, I love the braids. Whoever did this braid, these braids are skills. The braiding skills are A1. I am obsessed, okay? They're all one size. I love the parting. It's just a bomb. This look realistic. It really looks like I sat in a chair for like 8 to 10 hours just to get these braids, okay? The gag is it was only 10 minute, a 10 minute install, 10, 20 minute install tops. If you don't know what you're doing and you love braids, Definitely would recommend, okay? I would because it's a cute wig, especially like I'm adding the, the little jewels and stuff like that. But let's just get into the biggest con of them all, the back of the wig. Outre, I don't know what to tell you, but why? Why'd y'all do that, okay? Like I said, it's not bad. Just don't be bending down, okay? And this is what it looks like to the side, okay? Like I said, it's not bad at all. I'm not mad at it, but... I'll try could have just did a little bit better when it came down to, you know, hiding those little puffy space. Now, it wouldn't stop me from wearing it because I still wear it. I still got compliments and hey, but I feel like if you bending your head all the way down and why would you be doing that? I don't know. <laughs> but anyway, if you're not doing that, I feel like this wig would be bomb.com. Like I said, I did show you guys the back of the wig, so it's not bad at all. So let me know what you guys think, thought. Everything will be listed down in the description section below. I hope you guys and enjoyed. And until my next one, your girl will see you later. Bye, guys. So that's impressive. How much you miss